His concern will be, when will I understand and pay heed to what Allah is saying to me? When will I rectify myself? When will I learn a lesson? Because the recitation of the Quran is an act of worship and an act of worship cannot be done properly when there's heedlessness and a lack of attention. May Allah help us and guide us all. End of the quote from uh, Akhlaq Hamalat Al-Quran. So do you see the significance of this? And I want to connect this with our condition in Ramadan. And I've been saying this for years, Ya Akhwan. I've been saying this for years and uh, Alhamdulillah, some have understood and some they don't understand until now. But there's no harm in making another attempt at delivering this uh, important reminder for all of us, beginning with myself. The obsession that we have created around Khatim al-Quran and completing the Quran is something that is extremely strange. You see, the notion that people have is they say, man, look at the Salaf, look at the righteous predecessors, look at the Sahaba, look at the Tabi'een. Those people were reciting the Quran so many times, completing it so many times, and this is something that is established from the ways of the righteous predecessors. And why are you criticizing me for following and doing something that they have done? And I will say to you, my beloved brother uh, in Islam, uh, or my sister in Islam, we're not, we're not having any, we don't have any issues with that per se. <laughs> that is not a problem. The problem is in nitpicking, or cherry picking an aspect of the way of the Salaf and then ignoring the more important and fundamental reality behind it. The Salaf, may Allah be pleased with them, their approach to the Quran was surely, surely not as superficial, uh, was not superficial as ours is. Number one. Number two, from our understanding, those brothers knew the Arabic language. So when they read the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they were actually understanding what they were reading. And that is so, so, so significant and um, important. They were understanding what they were reading. They understood it. It made sense to them. First of all, their language level was much better than ours. Um, that was their spoken language. That was the, the, their mother tongue for the most part. Or even those of them whose mother language was something else, they were learned. They were learned. They had learned and, and understood and studied the Arabic language and the sciences of the Quran enough, especially the Sahaba and those who came after them. This was their main thing. So when one of them was focusing on finishing the Quran multiple times in Ramadan or otherwise, that was based on a fundamental principle that they were reflecting on what they are reading. Now, fast forward X amount of hundreds of years until today. And we see uh, brothers and sisters who don't know the Arabic language, whether Arabs or non-Arabs is unimportant. No one cares about one's race right now. It's whether you know the Arabic language or you don't. So people that don't know the Arabic language, even Arabs, by the way, even Arabs whose local dialect, whose daily language is, is very superficial and is, is not really coherent, uh, nor is it at a level that allows them to understand the, the deeper aspects of the Quran. I mean, they, they, they know the vocabulary and the words, but a lot of the vocabulary in the Quran is not used in common language today. So therefore, there's still a gap and a barrier of understanding between the, the average Arab today and the language of the Quran, which is which is a lot more complicated in that sense than what we say today in our daily conversations. So when you fast forward and you see that people are reading the book of Allah primarily to finish the surah, because when they finish the surah, they want to finish the juz. And when they finish the juz, they want to say the, the juz. They say, I want they want to say. Eat, whether they want to say or they want to feel is besides the point. I hope they don't want to say to the people, oh, I did one khatim. But if they're just trying to feel fulfilled 
by completing the Quran, all whilst they're reading the book of Allah without understanding it, then that is a sad state that I cannot emphasize and elaborate on enough. Allah al musta'an Allah al musta'an Allah's aid is sought. If this is the condition we're in, that you finish the Quran in Ramadan or outside of Ramadan, but let's just say in Ramadan. And, and, طيب, can you tell me now, uh, can you explain any aspects of it to me? Can you tell me what you have understood from reading the book of Allah in Arabic with your beautiful tajweed? Do you actually know what you were reading? Do you know what Allah was telling you? Did you get to do the tadabbur? and the tadkirah that you're supposed to get. And for the most part, people will say, no, no, I don't know Arabic. So what is more important then? What is more important is that you understand the message, man. That means that if you have not learned Arabic, which you should, you should be reading the interpretation of the meaning in another language that is your mother language, so that you not only read the book of Allah for the hasanat, in every letter there are 10 good deeds, and Allah Azza wa Jal multiplies more than that to whomever He wills, so that you're not really only getting the aspect of good deeds, you're actually reflecting on what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, because that is the objective of the Qur'an. The objective of the Qur'an is not mere recitation, but it is recitation with contemplation and pondering and understanding, and then of course at the end of all that, implementation implementation which we lack all of us all of us i'm speaking about myself i'm speak i'm not even talking about you i'm talking about myself we read we understand but we fail in implementation weaknesses shortcomings uh, uh you know indulgence in the dunya whatever our reasons may be we are all guilty of that some more than others but we're all guilty of that so what we need to do is change this state of mind that I want to read the book of Allah in order to achieve good deeds. Two, I want to read the book of Allah in order to understand it and reflect on it and implement it and the good deeds are guaranteed. The good deeds are guaranteed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe and click on the notification bell. Like, comment, and share with friends and family.